guys welcome back to my channel so today I did this look that you see right here it's just a warm smoky halo eye and I'm using the Kathleen lights times ColourPop palette called the dream street palette um it comes with 16 shades right here as you see it it's $16 on the website uh, it launched, I believe, like a month ago, but when it launched, I didn't have a camera, and so I was really, really, really excited to finally try this out. The packaging is gorgeous. It has, like, rose gold marbling, and it has the names written on the back. Um, the only thing is, when you're looking at a shade right here, when you turn it over, it's not the shade behind it, it's the shade over to the opposite side so that's the only kind of downfall because I found myself having a really hard time when I was trying to say the shade names like matching the shades correctly but besides that all the colors I used today were super pigmented super blendable and overall it's just a really amazing palette for the price so if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching all right, so I have my eyes primed. They're set down with a really good base, so I'm ready to get my smoky eyes started. So I'm gonna be going in with the Kathleen Light and ColourPop collaboration called the Dream Street Palette. Um, I've played with this a couple times, like off camera, but this is my first time using it on camera, obviously. The first shade I'm going to go in with is the shade Magical, which is shown right here, and I'm going to take it on a fluffy blending crease brush and apply it all over the crease for the other shades to blend into. the shade right here called shooting star and apply this a little bit more precisely in the crease using a more precise blending brush I'm going to apply the shade Potion to the same part of the crease, but just deepen it up. before potion I'm going to take it and apply it to the outer and inner corner of the eye with more of a packing style blending brush and this is going to let us start our halo eye shade Elfish which is shown right here I'm going to take a very very precise blending brush and add this to the outer and inner corners of the eye and then begin to connect it with leaving a bare space in the middle of the lid <laughs>
then going back in with the shade potion, I'm just going to blend everything out to make sure there are no harsh edges. take the shade called Sweet Dreams and just pick it up with their finger and pat it all over the center of the lid that we have left to bear. in with the shade potion I'm gonna take it on a blending brush and just blend it all over the lower lash line to really smoke out the look take the shade Mooney which is the lightest shade in the palette and grab it on a small accent brush and apply it to the inner corner and the brow bone to highlight. finished look I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'll be right back all right guys so that's the end of this video I hope you loved how the look turned out I certainly do um I haven't done anything this dramatic and glam in a while so I hope it turned out okay to you guys I'm really happy with how it turned out uh, this palette worked amazingly I played with it a few times like I said but I hadn't used it for like a full glam look but it really exceeded my expectations so congrats to Kathleen um yeah <laughs> don't forget to like comment subscribe tell your friends all that good stuff and I will see you in my next video bye guys oh my god this was on my fucking thing the whole time So I used the Kathleen Light palette and did a halo eye. Did a what? Halo eye. That's pretty. Thank you. I like how it turned out. So weird. What is the gray still going on? I don't know. I don't know. I'm watching out there.